TNTM The Show presents Mortal Kombat 1 Review with your host Pablo Gunner and The Ambassador. And of course we're here to talk nerdy to you about Mortal Kombat 1, which I got on the Switch here and you played it on the Xbox Series X. Sweet. And so did the uh, did Slay J, but Slay J is gone because he's in Spain in this fancy villa or via and uh for like a wedding or something i don't know maybe that's too much but anyways uh so we're here left to give you our review of mortal kombat 1 which i'm gonna say i, I think it's fair to say we're gonna do a giveaway for this right like we'll do a giveaway for this copy and it actually does have the shang sung code i didn't use it uh, I don't think you could see it there. I couldn't see it. So if anyone tries to get it, well then, you know, good luck to you, I guess. Uh, whoever gets this will still get the, the game, you know, but... Yeah. Um, so, I did not finish it. I did not finish the story mode. I tried to play the other modes. The thing is that the story mode sucked me in. Like, I was sucked in because it flows really easy. It really is mostly, like, you're kind of watching a movie with some fight matches in between right yeah and you get like a turn with each of the characters and uh, yeah later on i'm sorry when i spoil yeah part spoil of it the, spoil it part of it yeah because like spoiler uh, review because like uh to say so my gripes yeah i have to spoil the story yeah yeah and it's not with the story itself it's just with Warner Brothers handling of this game. Okay. Like, my big tip with this is, why are you going to have a character like Shang Tsung that you actually play in the damn story mode as a DLC character? Right. That makes no sense whatsoever to have him locked away behind a paywall or a... Hey, you bought the game. Here's a code thing. It should he should just be right. It's a there. pre-order thing. Like it's stupid that it would be a pre-order perk when the character is literally like one of the guys <laughs> you play in the story mode. Oh, you play as him. Yeah. Oh, okay. With one of the plot twists. You... So it doesn't unlock him just because you played him. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me. Like you actually play as him yeah. during one section of the story mode. Uh, when when you kind of have to try to start saving the multiverse, you could call it. Okay. The World Combat multiverse. Yeah. Because the events of World Combat 11 caused the multiverse to appear. Mm -hmm. Because it was every possible outcome. So whoever... So all these people from the original timeline became timekeepers that were involved in... The uh, conflict in Eleven. Oh, okay, okay. So you got like a katana timeline, but you also got some other crazy ones. But it does make the story mode interesting when you get these uh, cross between characters. Uh, the the one that was like pretty hard to fight was a uh, Johnny Connor. Okay. <laughs> you know who Johnny? You know who Johnny Connor is. Uh, I've seen a review, and it's, it's was it Shao Kahn and Johnny Cage? Yeah. Which sounds weird. I'm like, Johnny Connor? I was like, is that, like, Terminator? Oh, I'm, they totally made the reference on purpose. Oh, really? Of course. You can tell, because, like, they own the rights to Terminator. Oh, okay. So they can do it. They're not, who are they going to sue themselves? Yeah. Didn't they have Terminator in one of the games? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they had Terminator in, I think it was... Ten? Either X or Eleven. Okay. Yeah, he was a playable character. But, like, a lot of... Like, having the characters show up day one as DLC is terrible. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I have to give this game a strong rent. Whoa, he's dropping it already. Okay. Yeah, the main reason for that is... Well, if you're not hardcore about... Fighting Mortal, playing Mortal Kombat for like uh, competitive reasons. There's no reason to get it day one. Wait for the uh, the newer edition that, that comes out with all the DLC. Why? And especially like the base games a ripoff. 
Mm-hmm. Because if you buy the base game and you decide to like uh, get the characters later, you're spending more money than buying the special edition one. Oh, okay. That came out. I was looking at everything. Oh, really? And I was like, that's not cool. Like everything about it is just like a money grab. Uh huh. That's not cool. I mean, that's WB though, right? Yeah. Like, isn't that, like, their DC movies? Like, their whole thing is money grab, right? Well, so is Disney. Well, yeah, no, yeah. that that is true. But uh, but I just feel like they, they, I don't know, they do it in a way that doesn't seem to work as well for everyone, you know? But I, here's the thing, like I said, I enjoyed the story a lot. I was having a blast with the story. Like I said, it sucks you in. You get to play as the characters, I will say that the way that it's designed, I didn't feel like... I got a decent feel for each character, and that was cool because you get to play all these different characters, and I really like that it forces you to learn all the all the different characters, right? Like, you get to play as them, and that's really cool to me so that you can, like, get a feel and then go, okay, which one's your, which one's your best? You could do the same thing if you played it on its own, though. Like, you could just try each character out. You know, and then not have to do the story. If you if you prefer to do that, you could do that. But I think there's also a lot of characters they're not unlocked unless you play the story. So it forces you to play the story just to be able to use like certain characters or some certain cameo characters and stuff like that. And uh, so like Jax looks so goofy like as the cameo characters like he looks like it's just like classic, but like new graphics it's it's funny but i did have a lot of issues though because i played it on the switch there was a giant early patch so and it took forever i actually had a lot of issues with this game. like even before i i put it in and it's like you don't have any space you don't have enough space they're like you could delete everything on on here and you still wouldn't have enough space you need a micro sd card and i was like dang it and then you guys were like oh well we have them and i just put it in and it was like, oh, it's not going to work. So I was like, okay, well, it doesn't work. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go get one then. I'll just buy one from GameStop, 11 12 bucks or whatever. They didn't have that one available. I had to buy one that was 20 bucks, but it was the exact same thing, essentially. Then you told me, you're like, hey, this is how you format it. And I was like, well, it would have been great if they would have gave me that info to format because then I went to bought the GameStop SD card, but I kind of want to keep it because it's 128 gigs, whereas the SD micro SD cards that we have are like 32, which pretty much took up almost all the space because I think it was like 30 yeah. or 30 something. That, but then with that patch, I'm sure that was probably the rest of it, you know. So I had that problem, and then I just had, you know, I don't, I don't know if if you've seen. Uh, but I've seen on TikTok, I've seen on YouTube that there's been issues with the Switch version. Like, it looks goofy, the graphics aren't as good. I personally, yeah, there were some points where, like, you they didn't look as smooth, but it just took, like, a second, you know, and then it smoothed it out and looked good. Like, I thought it looked just as good as, as you know, what I was looking at on YouTube, right? And uh, so I thought that was I thought it looked impressive. I thought it played pretty impressive for the most part. But I did have a lot of loading issues too. Like there was a lot of I had to wait for loading. So in those times of loading, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna drop out of this. I'm gonna try the other modes. I did tournament, and that was awesome. That was so cool. And I just I was climbing the ranks, and I did uh, I did Liu Kang. Oh my god, dude, he's so good. And you know what? So, and that's another thing about this game. If you kind of just butt mash or like toggle back and forth, you can learn the moves and it feels like the old game where it's like back forth button, you know, and you'll do a move. And so I did, I learned so many moves like that, like that were pretty simple, pretty easy to learn, pretty to figure out. And that was really cool. And it does give you like, if you pause it, you can check a lot of the moves out. I tried doing that. I could not do any of the moves. So then I just started messing around. Dude, I did Liu Kang's Fatality where he has like the fire dragons hold the arms and then does the does the skull thing. Oh my god, that was so awesome. Uh, I couldn't even do like Fatal Blow most of the time. Like I couldn't even figure out the buttons to do Fatal Blow. I don't know. I was like, I'm not doing it right. I don't know what's going on. So as I was saying, I did... 
uh, plays Liu Kang. That was really cool, just learning, just kind of, not button mashing exactly, but, you know, I kind of knew what I was doing and figured it out, and that was really cool. And so I went all the way up to the top, beat Shang Tsung, and Erico just dropped out of the game completely. And I'm like, what? And then I saw this thing. It was like, yeah, to unlock the endings and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, so I missed that. And like, I didn't, it wasn't automatically in there when I reloaded it, right? Like, I didn't unlock that video. I couldn't just go look at it. There's a lot of cool stuff in this too. Like, I try to, uh, you know, you can check out all these collections, but it takes time to get. Because starting off, you have nothing, right? There is nothing on there for the collections, so that's kind of a bummer it's just starting off, but of course you have to earn it. And then I went into Invasion, and I did one match, and then I moved to the next thing, and it was Johnny Cage's Mansion. And it was like, hey, you have to do some code. It's like A, B, or yeah, A, B, A, C, A, B, B. And I was like, there is no C on this controller. Where do I put this code in? And I was like, I so I literally did one match, and then I couldn't get any I couldn't figure out how to get any further into the invasion mode so I'm like do I have to play the story mode to unlock this like what's going on so it I don't and once again I don't know because I haven't finished it so I don't know if I have to finish it because that would be a bummer that's like hey you have to finish the story mode just to play invasion mode right like that that would be a bummer so, but whatever, I, I'm like, maybe I thought about looking it up and just checking on like IGN or something and seeing like how, how you do that. I don't know, but I'll, I'll find, I'll figure it out eventually. Uh, but I mean, that's the thing is like when you actually get to play it, it is a blast. Like to me, it just feels like I'm playing the original Mortal Kombat, but with a new story and new graphics, but like gameplay just like feel like s flows so smoothly uh, but like you said, there's a lot of buy-in stuff. Like you can buy face masks, you can buy all this physical stuff. It doesn't help you at all in the game, which is kind of a good thing. It's just cosmetic. But like there's so much stuff in there. Seasons and there's all this stuff that I checked out in the store. And I'm like, this is a giant cash grab. And see, it's one of those things where it's simultaneously a good thing and a bad thing, right? You go back to the old games and... You know, they're simple, they're easy, they're fun, but guess what? You didn't have all this DLC, you didn't have all this extra stuff, you just had to unlock it by playing it, you know, and that was it. And nowadays, it's just, this is the way things are now, unfortunately. And I know it's not with all of them, but, you know, it is with a lot of games, right? Like, yeah. Spider-Man, you could unlock majority of those outfits yourself. There's only a few that you actually had to buy, you know? So, and they, and that was like part of a DLC pack that was like a whole story and stuff. But yeah, uh, I mean, for me, I will continue playing this game because we're not going to do the giveaway for this game until our other giveaway is over. So that'll give me enough time to finish the story and to con continue to play this game. And at that point, I'll probably do uh, like a more extensive review on my own uh TikTok, which will then translate to our YouTube and stuff. I usually try to keep short form on the TikTok, and then I put all the other stuff on the YouTube, which is what I do with my Ahsoka reviews. Like I put all the spoilery stuff because it comes out at least like a almost like a week later. But anyways, I still thought it was a blast, and I thought the in, the story was super interesting. I will say, what's her name? Megan Fox's acting was a little lackluster. Like, it was cool to see her in the game because they pretty much use, like, her physical character model. But her voice acting, not so much. Uh, but I, I, still, I still enjoyed it a lot. So I don't feel like me where I'm at right now because I've had so many issues with it. And I don't know if that's because of the... I'm assuming that's because it's on the Switch. It might also because, like you, you said... Have a you have your stores to the limit. Right. So that might be part of the problem as well. And that's why another reason why I was like, well, maybe I should just keep that, that card because if I can only fit one game on it, I'm just going to have to delete a game every time I put a new game on it, right? Yeah. So I'm like... And besides, these SD cards, the, we use them for recording videos. We don't use them for the video games. But now it, they would have to be reformatted. It's, I don't know. It's a whole nightmare. Anyways, that doesn't matter. But what does matter is all these issues. It is early on. But once again, 
that's the thing is when you buy a game 70 bucks we pre-ordered this we got the Shang Tsung code you said you did the math it would be smarter to do like the special edition because you get all the stuff included right math wise yeah so if you do it you're spending an extra 10 bucks yeah if you're buying it from the regular edition and upgrading to the special edition by buying all the packages and I think you got it like on the 14th instead of the 19th yeah. so you got it like four days earlier or something five days earlier so right and i was like should we do that i don't know if we should do that but here we are and do you think we should have done that well if you had an xbox series x we could have done it <laughs> so for at least one we should have done that for at least one copy so you had it way earlier and then this review would have been done like when it came out probably because you guys were on it quick you know we've only had these games like a few days and but yeah so you know early on like that's kind of like the way that games are too now right like that's the age of games is when they come out they're not finished games they need a lot of fix up you know and there's going to be more along the way so they'll get better but there's also perks to getting it earlier so it's like it's kind of like a double-edged sword yeah right so for me i I really dig it. I'm really liking it a lot. I feel like I, I feel like I shouldn't even give a full grade right now just because of the fact that I haven't finished the story and there's so many things I haven't figured it out uh, playing it. But as is, I I want to say it's a buy, but I haven't unlocked enough. So to me, like I I don't know. I just I I feel like I can. And your grade is. A strong rent. Okay. I can't rationalize buying it because you're buying an incomplete game because you have to pay to get the rest of the game. That's not right. Like, uh, if a character like Shang Tsung, who is literally playing playable in the story mode and has his own little arc, and you can't play him in the regular versus mode that's ridiculous without buying them yeah that's a bummer so i mean i i do feel like the dlc characters that they have coming out like they sound cool right like homelander omni man peacemaker and then some other ones like new i think new oh, one, of the, one of the other dlc characters is very involved in the story mode too oh yeah and uh uh quan chi oh yeah but you can't play as him in the versus mode it's like what without buying them without buying them yeah with that package and then who else oh i i ghost ghost face right yeah ghost face is good not the rapper not ghost face killer but the character from scream right yeah which makes sense because we have october halloween coming up which we actually have halloween uh ghost face merch too and they are pretty cool i gotta say they are pretty cool so but yeah, and of course I'm rocking ours right now. The talk nerd to me finish they them right here, and then I have our info on the back. You don't have to buy the one with the info, of course. There's ones that don't have talk nerd to me on them. If you don't want talk nerd to me on it, and you could just have finish they them, or you could just get you know where it's just like my front and not the back, and that's the shirts and and hoodies and stuff. So yeah, so check out our stuff because it's only fifty percent off for the month of September because it's our Mortal Kombat month. And I will say, though, the uh, Slay J said that he had trouble figuring out uh, Test Your Might. I had trouble figuring it out, too, but then once I figured it out, I was like, oh, I'm an idiot, and that was actually pretty easy. It's not a matter of figuring out. It's a matter of just knowing Paying how... Paying attention. It works. Yeah, you just button mash and then boom, you know? I mean, it, especially if you played the Super Nintendo ones, it was the exact same thing. Yeah, button match till it gets up to there, and then you use the bumper to. Well, it only had one bumper because of Super Nintendo. Right. But then you use that to hit. Right, yeah. I mean, that's the whole thing, though, is that back then they didn't handhold you, but they also had a manual so you could read it before, and then you knew everything. Whereas now everything handholds, and this didn't really. It didn't tell you what to do necessarily, like exactly. It didn't tell you exactly, but. It was, it was pretty easy to figure out after dying, like, a few times, you know, failing a few times. But, yeah. Uh, so, your grade was? Strong rent. All right. 
You heard it here. Not a flawless victory. Sorry. Yeah. Even if Shang Tsung was included, I could rationalize it being like a buy, but you, there's so much that has to be done through DLC that I can't rationalize buying it. I'd rather wait for their special edition. Yeah. You know what you could rationalize, though? Buying all this uh, Talk Nerd to Me Mortal Kombat merch, because how much? You could buy so much Mortal Com Talk Nerd to Me Mortal Kombat merch instead of buying this game. Just saying. So, get over here and get these sweet deals and merch.